when that limbic system gets fired mm -hmm. and all of a sudden either fresh trauma is happening or triggers from past trauma yep. or just something terribly upsetting is happening in our life. You've taught me this and I think it is it has served me so well. Mm. You've taught me that it takes 20 minutes for the amygdala part of our brain, which is where our trauma and deep emotions are stored. It takes 20 minutes for that to calm down. Mm -hmm. So just give yourself a minute. Mm. And during those 20 minutes, get proactive about self-care. And that's not being selfish. That's truly that's right. caring for yourself so that you can have a better response and not an immediate reaction. So give yourself 20 minutes, drink four ounces of water. Um, I like to walk outside and look up and remind myself the sky is not falling because one of the tendencies of my personality is worst case scenario. And that's part of what makes me all of a sudden get into such a panicked place that emotional immaturity starts really like presenting itself, even though I've worked really hard to be an emotionally mature person. Well, and, and look what you just said. I, I use this all the time with people. It's, it's powerful. Let us use our bodies in good ways. Why? We look down into our emotions and that trauma will be like Cro-Magnon man. It will pull you over down and then we look up. And how many times do the Jewish people in the Bible say, I look up, I look up. And even we, lines. nothing wrong with praying. Our Father, and we go down and we pray, fine, if that's what you, but the Jewish people so often lifted hands and they looked up. We look down into our emotions, whatever they may be, but we've got to then look up into the truth and the reality. And it literally neurochemically works. It changes our brain to look up mm -hmm. and to walk is the other piece. Yeah, and sometimes I'll even take my shoes off you know, and just like walk in the grass and. That's you know, grounding. You understand that part, right? You're grounding in God's, this is I our father's world. I did not know world. that I was doing good work here, but No, yes. it really is. That's important. This is when you get your shoes off and get, that's God's earth and get in the, the, the whatever is emitted from the, 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 the grass and all that. You're literally, most of us spend our days on concrete. We have a rug over this concrete. We're on, on slab or whatever. We're very seldom grounded into God's earth, just having our feet down in the ground. So that's very important what you said. That's great. And I like what you said too. Just, I've just, I know myself and I know worst case scenarios are not going to bring out a best case scenario in my response right now. That's a great right way now. to put it. And so looking up to me is really important, but you were talking about the children of Israel getting out of Egypt, but then having to get Egypt out of them. Right. Think about what they did when they were in Egypt for their provision. They looked down at the ground. They needed the ground to give them their provision. But when God took them out to the desert, they had to look up for God's provision. And God's provision was manna, mm -hmm. little flakes that fell from the sky. And so that was part of getting that Egypt out of them. Yes. Like you're not going to be self-reliant anymore. I'm going to teach you to be God dependent. And I think that's really important. So a little sidetrack though. It's really interesting with Exodus. It was necessary when God even tells Pharaoh through Moses uh, to let my people go into where? The wilderness. Why? To worship. Why in the world would the people of Israel need to go into the wilderness to be the, the environment for their uh, act of worship? Uh, the wilderness was a necessary part of their journey to the promised land. It was in the wilderness they could do exactly what you just said.